hello guys welcome back to another video on this channel and thanks for viewing today we will talk about the java get characters method which is useful when copying characters of a given string into an array of characters now let's take a look at uh, an example to show you how this method works so as usual we need to declare a string variable that we we'll call str and uh, give it the value of I love programming and next since we will need an array in which we will store all the copied characters we have to now declare an array that we are going to call copied characters and uh, we will say new character and the size of our arrow we will say let's say 14. so we need to import uh, we have to add this all right so now we have to call our method so what we are going to do we will say str that get characters open the brackets so this method uh takes four parameters the first parameter is the tie is of type integer and it represents the index of the first character in the string to copy so we have to specify the index position of the first character to copy we will say five so index uh position five so that will be one two three four five that will be e here and uh, the second parameter is of type integer as well and it represents the index of the last character in the string to copy so the last character that we would like to copy would be um let's say nine here and uh, the third parameter would represent the array of characters in which the characters uh in which the characters from the string are going to be copied so we will say copied characters because that's the array in which our character are going to be copied and the fourth parameter is going to represent the index position of the array from where the copied characters will be pushed into the array so we can say that we want to push the copied arrays from the beginning of our array so we will say zero that will be index zero in the array um, so now in order to output the content of our array we will do a for loop so in here i will declare a character variable that i will call content so I will pass the value stored in copied characters inside this uh, content here. So I will say copied characters. And in here, I will write an output statement. So system that out that print line and content like this i need to make sure that i have my semicolon like this so i will run my content and as you can see here it's outputting e white space p and r it's because we specify that we want to start copying from index position five that is e up to index position nine so that will be this is five six the white space seven p eight is r and uh, 
uh, nine is the character O. And as you can notice that O is excluded in the characters being copied. So let's also note that if the first parameter um, is less than zero, let's say for example, minus two here, we will get an exception thrown at us. So we get an exception. If um, the second parameter is greater than the length of our string, something like we say 40 here, we will also get an exception. Okay. And the, par the third parameter is less than zero. So like if we say that uh, the length of our array is less than zero, we will get an exception here. Okay. And uh, if the fourth parameter is greater than the length of the array, so if we say like 15, like this, and run, we will also get an exception. So guys, this is what we need to keep in mind. So if I come back to my method here, you can see that the output that we get here is based on the parameters we passed. So let me say, for example, that I say that I want to start copying the characters from the string from the index position zero up to the index position nine. Now you will see that I will get the character. I will get I love up to the character R. And as I said, the character positioned at index position nine is excluded from, uh, you know, the characters being copied. Because as you can see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine here is O, but it's excluded from uh, the list of characters that will be copied. So that's something that we always need to keep in mind. So guys, that was it concerning the um, Java get characters method that can allow you to copy the characters of a given string into an array of characters. So I hope this video was informative and thanks for viewing. Please don't hesitate to comment to ask any question concerning this video and also to like the video and subscribe to this channel. So let's meet in the next video.